break down the pros and the potential cons is Trey Vods, a smart shopping expert at TrueTrade.com. Trey, welcome back. Good morning. Good morning. So first of all, let's break down buy now, play, pay later for people that might not know. How does it work? Sure. So if you're not familiar, there are many buy now, pay later uh, providers and many retailers use these providers. So basically what this is, is it's kind of like the modern layaway, except for you can take the item with you right away. So they have different payment plans broken up across a couple of months where you pay that item off in chunks. And so this can be helpful if you are making a large purchase that you can't pay for in full right now. I see this option all the time, and it's very appealing. It sounds almost too good to be true, but you're the <laughs> shopping expert here, Trey. What are your thoughts overall? On this. Yeah, so first of all, what we are seeing is a heightened interest in something like this with younger consumers because they're a little bit more open. They want to try things that are new. A Bread Financial poll found that Gen Zers and Millennials are twice as likely to try something like this versus, say, a baby boomer. So here's my feeling on this. I like buy now, pay later if you have the time to read the fine print before you commit. That's very difficult to do in store at the cash register with a line behind you. If you're online and you can read that fine print and commit to those terms, again, like what I said, you have to pay the item off in just a couple of months, maybe two to four, depending on the plan. So you want to be really clear what is required of you and that you can actually fulfill that requirement. Read the fine print, always good advice. I am curious, is the buy now, pay later transaction tracked and reported to credit card companies? So it is not. So this is another good option, say, for example, if you want to buy an expensive camera or a mattress or something like that that you can't, again, afford right away. But you don't necessarily want to open, say, a new store card because that's a hard pull on your credit. The buy now, pay later is not a hard pull on your credit. So it can be beneficial in that way as well if you're trying not to impact your credit score. There's a term I'm hearing Rel now really uh, relatively new to me, phantom debt. What is that? Why is it so problematic for consumers? I'm actually, that is not a term that I'm familiar with. So that's new to me too, Henna. And what's your advice if there's something you actually need but can't afford it? Do, should you do the buy now, pay later? Or do you just maybe wait till you can afford it? Yeah, so that's a great question. You know, I think that buy now, pay later is good for people who need something right now but can't afford to pay it off in full. But there are other options. So, for example, if you do need to buy a camera for a vacation that you're going on, you could buy it used. There's a site called mpb.com. They have inspected, warranted equipment that you can buy at a very reduced price. That's one option. Or say you need a new printer for your home office. HP has a program called the All In Plan. That starts at $6.99 a month, and it gives you a new printer and all the ink that you need, and that comes in the mail as you use it. And that's a good way to get something that you need at home without really committing to that full price. And so I would look at used renting items if you can't afford that item right now and you can't commit to that buy now, pay later payment plan at the same time. So are you advising, and this is hard for all of us, maybe not use this plan for luxury items that, that you may not need right away? <laughs> yeah, I mean, my feeling is this. If there's a Louis Vuitton purse that you really want, but you don't have the money to pay for it, it is not the time to buy that. I really think that buy now, pay later is good for something that you need, maybe a home appliance, something that's important. But if you are looking at something special that you're dying to get, but you can't afford it, I would wait and maybe treat yourself at another time. I say it all the time. Great advice. Trey Bach, thank you. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.